It's funny because talking to uh, some of your other contemporaries um, over the last while, they've all mentioned his name, but it hasn't really been somebody who's been that kind of implicated in the whole Kilkenny story. Uh, obviously, Cody is there and you guys are there as players, but he seems to have had a key role for a lot of individual players, not ever actually working with the team collectively. Is that right? Yeah, well, absolutely. He's just he's, he's just a, a regular guy, a Christian brother, um, um, a teacher and a principal in school in, in Kilkenny. And, uh, you know, he just doesn't want any limelight. Very, very quiet man. Um, but, you know, hugely honest like he you know he, he would always say to me like you know I'll be honest I'll tell you exactly the way it is and he was he wouldn't butter you up like where you know you play a brutal game and you go down the street and someone said oh you great game the weekend and you know and they know that you didn't like he, if you had a bad game he'd give you a bad game or he'd tell you exactly but um, you know he was always challenging me to be and not to diluting or to pulling back on myself or pulling down on my standards to keep those standards up This changes your life like it changes how you interact with other human beings on a day to day basis as opposed to just making you a better hurler Right. Yeah, it does. It gives you confidence in life, and and you become a better person. And and you know, he shaped me both on and off the field because the same values in sport apply whether it's in your job or work or relationships, things like that. So yeah, it's it's really it's really really helping in in lot aspects of life. And the other thing that emerges too is that he's a physical trainer, so you're actually going out there and getting physical sessions as well. This is like on top of the training. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you know, he would have been working on my speed, on my footwork. We would have done one on one sessions and things like that. He and wasn't a big fan of your footwork. It was no, <laughs> he was always on. And to be fair, he was right. Like you know. But nobody else was telling you this thing either. Like you know, yeah, no, there was no, there was no kind of that specific, like breaking down my body parts and where I'm weak and strong, where I need to do work on, and uh, definitely footwork was was was, was always. And, and people always said, you know, run to the Kenny full back line, twist and turn, Jackie Turtle, and that's because of my earlier days when I couldn't really turn as quick, but they didn't know the work that I was doing now, and they used to target it, and and you know, I used to be able to turn a lot quicker and cover ground better. And one of the things we we spoke about um, was was scoring a point in the in the All Ireland. That's why I mean stretching. Myself. I was like corner back does this man not realise you know my shooting is fairly erratic and things. but we worked on it we worked on shooting and we worked on shooting drills and when that ball went over the All-Ireland in 2009 I was like I can't believe I just did that and I just taught him straight away and uh, and they're the kind of things he would have set goals for me as well yeah 